Our Lady Lions are going purple. I'm here at Queen Anne's County High School for the first purple game of the season. We're here to watch our varsity field hockey team take on Pocomoke. I'm here with Senior Captain Emma Cock and Senior Captain Ashley Ruggleman. So our Lady Lions field hockey team is the first team to be going purple this season. What does that mean to you? Um, I think this is going to be a really great cause and not many people like to talk about it and I'm glad that we are the first team to promote this. And you know, you, the Purple Campaign is really targeted for teenagers and for the high schools and do you see it happening throughout the community and do you think it's working? I do and it's a lot in the schools and I think it brings attention to something that people don't really know is actually happening near us. And I got a few questions to ask them about their game today. So how's the team looking this season? Uh, so far we are one and one. We've had a lot of cancellations. We were supposed to play Monday and we thought the game was going to be canceled today because of a lot of the rain, but that's okay. We're here. What game are you most looking forward to this season? I think that we're looking forward to Parkside. It's going to be a real challenge to the team and how we're going to play as a team and work all together. The Lady Lions went on to defeat Pocomoke 3 to 0 for their second straight shutout with goals scored by Sarah Boyer, Brianna Schindler, and Casey Schweitzer. Two assists by Cameron Brandt and nine saves by goalie Ashley Riggleman. Congrats ladies. I'm here with Katie Ray, varsity defender, and she's going to tell us who's going purple next. Queen Anne's County varsity volleyball team will be going purple on September 20th in the gym. Now, who do you want to challenge next? Next, we challenge women's varsity soccer team. So come to the games, wear all your purple, and show your support to the Queen Anne's County community. 